Hello, and welcome to this tech tutorial. In this video, I will show you how to customize your folder icons in Windows. We'll also look at how to download custom icons and install them for use on your system. The first step is to find a folder you want to change the icon for. I like to change the icons of specific folders I want to find more easily and set them apart from the rest. As you can see on my desktop here, I have a folder named Genealogy, which has a tree for its icon. Let me show you how this is done. For this demonstration, we'll create a new folder. If you have an existing folder you'd like to customize, use it instead. Alright, so the first thing here is my folder, and if we right click on the folder icon, and we go to properties, And then we go to the Customize tab here on the very right. At the very bottom, there is a Folder Icon option here. And if we click on the, the button here that says Change Icon, it will give a list of icons that we can choose from here. So by default, Windows will point us to the standard icon package. And many of these icons you may recognize from other places in Windows. I'm going to choose a star for this example, but as you can see, there's plenty of icons here that you could choose from. So, let me choose the star. Alright, then you say OK. And then you'll see your icon choice over here on the right, if you say OK again. And there we go, now I have a custom icon for my folder. So, you can customize any folder icon to your liking this way. However, suppose you can't find an icon you like in Windows Default Package. Well, we can use custom icons as well, either that we've created or that we downloaded from the internet. For my genealogy project, as you may have seen in a previous video, I decided to look for folders that were color-coded so I could visually distinguish which people were from which branch of my tree. You may have other things you'd like to do with icons that would, that would help you with your productivity. You can do a search for icon files. Just keep in mind they need to be a .ico file in the end. One great place to look for new icons is iconarchive.com. The link for that is in the description. For my project, I just did a Google search for colored folder icons and found these. Now I'm also going to place a link for these specific folders in the description in case you want to do the same thing I did. <clears throat> so all we have to do here is click down here on the download link and they're going to download to your default download folder. So mine is my desktop so if I close this here. So here is our new file. Now. In order to use these files, we first have to unzip them. And I'm going to unzip them to my desktop. And I'm also going to rename the folder here to icons. So it's a little bit easier to remember. Okay, so these are all the, as you can see, it's .ico for all of these. So now that we have the icon files to work with, we need to consider where to store them so that our folders will be able to make use of them. My suggestion is that you might want to place the entire icons folder in your C drive, because if you ever happen to change computers or you move the icons folder after you've already started to customize your other folders, the folder customization will no longer work if the icons folder path changes. So by putting it in the C drive, you can effortlessly replace them if you need to, simply by dropping a new folder with the icons into the C drive again. Or if you change computers, all you would have to do is drop this folder in once again and everything will come back the way you had it customized originally. So for this reason, I also like to keep a zipped backup copy of my icons folder handy just in case I want to move to somewhere uh, other than my my primary computer and I want these icons. So let's relocate the icon folder now. So if I pull up a explorer window here and so here you can see 
I'm under this PC. It, if you're in a older version of Windows, it would be my computer, I think, sometimes. Wherever your operating system is installed. And normally, it's going to be the C drive, which is why I recommend that. So if we go up into the C drive, all we've got to do is drop this file C, into, now make sure we don't drop it into a folder, we want to drop it into, so you see the tooltip there says move to C. So if I do that, alright, so I've dropped the icon folder now into the C drive. So also, if in the future you ever want to download any additional icons, all you have to do is actually drop the .ico files into this folder. We can keep this as a ever-growing collection of our personal icons that we want to use. So now with our icons in place, we can begin to customize. So let's find a folder we want to apply a color to. So I'm going to go ahead actually and just create a new one for this example. Colored folder. Okay. <clears throat> now. We can use the same steps as we did before, however this time we're going to need to show the computer where we've stored our new icons. So to do this, we simply need to press browse in the change icon window. So we'll go here to properties, customize, change icons, and instead of choosing from here, we can click browse. Alright, now you're going to have to navigate back to this icons folder, so here you can see we've got this PC and then OS C. I want the C drive. That's where I dropped it. You could also find it over here in the left if you scroll up or down. Um, but it's easy enough just to find it there. Okay, and as you can see here, there's an icons folder. So let's go into that one. And here you can see we've got all of the icons. All right, so we can choose whichever we want here. Let's do a yellow one. Or, well, yellow is kind of close to the original. Let's do a green one here, a teal. Okay. Okay, and there we go. Now, you may have to press F5 to refresh the folder list. I notice that sometimes when I'm in a folder that I'm customizing, uh, sometimes they don't refresh right away. This one did, though. <clears throat> so there you see, now we can customize this to be any color we want. And if we go back here, usually the second time, it knows where to look. All right, so, you know, you can change it whatever your needs are here. So maybe a green one now. All right. <clears throat> so, that's all there is to it. We looked at how to use Windows to provide icons, as well as how to download and install custom icons. So get creative, let your folder customization help you work more efficiently. If you watched my previous video, you also saw how I used folder customization to visually distinguish my father and mother's tree from each other in my genealogy filing system. So, for example, <clears throat> So I have a, a folder here for my father. Any, any person that belongs in my father's tree is red. Any that belongs in my mother's tree is blue. And anything that is purple means that they have a common person. So for example, um, any of my parents' children would belong in both my father's tree and my mother's tree. So therefore, they would get a purple folder because they belong in both. So this visually allows me to see who belongs in which tree, yet allowing me to combine all of my folders together to reduce redundancy. Thinking about this system, you may already have thousands of people that you would like to customize here. And if you're just getting started, even better, because we can make this one step simpler simply by creating some template folders. And this will help us to quickly color code our filing system from the beginning. So as you see in this folder, I have at the very top a blue, a purple, and a red folder. And these are empty folders. There's nothing inside of these. They're just template folders for me. So every time that I need a new colored folder, I can simply just copy and paste and then rename this folder instead of going through the steps to customize every individual folder because it can be a lot. So I've named the template folders here as you can see with a plus at the very beginning. 
And the reason why is so that it keeps them bumped up to the top of my list. I don't want to have to go through this folder to search for my template. I want them to be easily accessible. So that's why I've got the pluses here. And you could do something similar if you've got a lot of folders, but you want to have some templates available to you at all times. And the same is here. I've also got numbers here. So you could use numbers or, or um, different symbols, and it'll sort it ahead of the alphabet here. So if I, for example, want to add a new blue folder, I can simply copy that folder and then paste it. And there we've got a blue folder template. Then all I have to do is rename it and I can name this whatever family I want. And I didn't have to do any of the customization. It was already implied because the template folder already had that customization as well. So hopefully with this tutorial, you will now be able to quickly create a more visually appealing and efficient filing system and increase your productivity. Do you have any comments, questions, or suggestions? How do you use customized icons? Let us know in the comments below. And as always, if you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and best of luck in your file organization.